Welcome to University of Chimera Stadium in steamy Tombstone, Arizona, where the only thing hotter than the heat is the ceaseless sinning. The players are ready to rock the red zone and red light district tonight. Let's go down to the field for kickoff. The teams are juiced up and ready for blood as they take the field for NFL action. The Los Scandalous Damned battle. The Cardinal Sins. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. The paddy wagons in the parking lots are full. The familiar scent of bodily fluids in the air. And the men's room is both flooding and on fire. And that means NFL game day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzer along with Bricks and Bricks Jr. Man, last week some mutant let out a lava blast in one of the stalls in the men's room. Place went up like an oil rig. Flames and explosions. Water shooting out of where the toilets were. <laughs> I electrocuted myself using the electric hand dryer. I wish they had paper towels at least as an option. And it's first and ten. The defense called a sticky ball dirty trick, and the quarterback is in a shitload of trouble. <laughs> He's trying to throw the ball, grip but it can't. And he picks up four on that pass and catch. Second down and six. And that'll bring up third down and seven. <laughs> Man, these guys have metal balls. They're going to try to pick up the first down here. Do they jingle when they run? Clank, you moron. He said balls, not bells. Talking about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. And coach isn't liking that call. Oh, oh his head just exploded. Flatness, flatness. Oh, shit. And they'll line up for the... It's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. And it's first and ten. Republican congressman hits the airport men's room. Good and hard. First down. And it's first and ten. Uh, come on, man. You got to catch that. I don't catch anything, Grim. I'm retired. Second down and ten. a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. 
cover. Oh, what a brutal hit. And it's first and ten. And they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? First down and five. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned out the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. Second and three. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot three. That's a six-yard gain. And that'll be second down and four. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. He blasts it and picks up seven yards right there.
Second and three. Oh, man, what a throw. And it was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. And so at the end of one, we're all tied up. We'll be right back. And it's first and ten. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. And it's first and ten. He's going berserk. The ball carrier better watch out because if he gets hit, he is. You've got to catch that. <laughs> Second down and ten. Five yard gain on that fast play. Hey, look at the coach. He's picking his nose. You know, they shouldn't put that on the jumbotron. Seems like every time the camera shows him, he's either spitting, picking, grabbing himself in the privates. Hey, he should do it all at the same time. Now, that would be worthy of a jumbotron shot. Yeah, nice observation, Briggs. Great color work as usual. <laughs> Thank God he's still got his leg. He's going to need all of it for this kick. Hey, a sawbuck says he misses. It's good. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. First and ten. Hot one, hot two. Hot. Oh, big catch, big run, big touchdown. Yeah, big deal. Mr. Beef for Brain Cram with a ball and didn't fall out. <laughs>
Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. game should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey, anyone seen that Korean kid yet with my barbecue? Last time I ordered Korean, I got Kim Jong-il. takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is in palm print. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. They just let that one drop and play it safe, and the defense says, we'll take it. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. And that's a nice run for a first down. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. The defender's one speed just kicked in. He's so fast. He runs it for three. Second down and seven. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. Quickly call a timeout, hoping to save some time for their offense. Third down and long. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot eight. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. Nice punt. Should move them back. Nice catch. And he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a life. Man, what a hit that was. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Check the line and he gets his bell rung for a yard. The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just cock blocked the clock. Second down and nine. Timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock 
Grim, I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up at the crash of noon. We're talking about the NFL, you moron. Touchdown! And he rips off a game-breaking run for the score. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kick off into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. It sounds like my offseason. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. They stunt the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. First down! I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a re- The quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. And they take their last timeout. It's between them and the clock now, Grim. Well, and the defense, too. For a kick this far, you just got to kick it as hard as you can, partner. And aim. It's really important from this distance. It's probably a smart idea. Oh, and he misses the kick. And his teammates are going to flog him when he gets back to the side. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room. And we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsignor Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? I'm gonna go to a strip tea show. Where we going? Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. He's walking the strike again. That guy's so fast he can strike lightning twice. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. He rifled that one in there, and they come up with 10 yards on the play. Third down, and, well, good luck. First and ten. That pass was way off target, but I'm pretty sure the QB will blame the receiver as he always does. 
second down and ten. And like bricks his bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. First down and three. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pad, it appears that the ref just received a pair of very expensive alligator skin shoes. They need to put some cement shoes on before this game slips away. I almost wanted a pair of alligator skin shoes, Grim. Can I hurt though when you put them on? They feel just like chicken skin shoes. They're back up here on first, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. <laughs> first down in a mile. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. And that's the way you do it. Eat up chunks of yards with pinpoint passing. Third down and nine. Kickers practice for this kind of kick every day. Pretty standard. Nothing standard when you got bloodthirsty mutants on the defensive line. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. First and ten. Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. First and ten. Nice pickup for six yards. And that'll be second down and four. You know, this berserk dirty trick ain't fair to the game. Oh, great throw! Great catch! And that puts six points on the board! The defense couldn't do anything to stop a throw to have good rim! You mean aside from Brian? Quarterback or actually playing some D. And here comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It, it means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. Oh, 
man about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. And the rumor is moving crazy fast. Look at the pass. He's taking the field. Yeah, he's taking the cycle. And he's off to the races. Come to the line trying to tie this up with two points. And if they don't, things are going to get weird and desperate on this sideline. Hey, give them more credit. No one was going to stop him. That's two points. In his galaxy, Amish five, dancing is prohibited by penalty and public stoning. So he really enjoys getting a chance to show off his stuff. He can strut. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off that one-time thing. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. Ouch! What is this, Andy's wrestling? Second down and a lot. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. The quarterback passes the ball and it rebounds back. He can't get rid of it. It's like me and these crabs, Grim. Yes, the defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick and the QB is in a heap of trouble now. <laughs> Second down in a mile. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Third down and the punter is warming up. We're tied up at the end of the third quarter. You can smell the excitement on the fans. I mean, literally, it is ripe in here. Man. Junior, was that you? Hey, blow me. Crusher right there, folks. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he put all of his foot into that one. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he? Bricks, wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. Huh, sounds like think it through because you know he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives but yeah, not the guests what the fuck are you talking about uh, i don't really know right now what day is it and it's first and ten one time when i was playing a guy hit me so hard i went into a dark tunnel thought i saw my grandparents wave in the light Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. The quarterback goes down. Face. I want to see if he's crying. Okay, I can't. 
Third down and, well, good luck. comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback is down. Zoom in on his face. I want to see if the little bastard's crying. Second down and more than the QB would like. down and long. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Oh, boy, they're going for it. This could get uglier than the baby resulting from an orcish family reunion. And that'll make the highlight reel for what not to do on fourth down. Hey, man, nobody can touch you with eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, Pop? And it's first and ten. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. Second down and ten. Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Love the sound of bones snapping and cracking. I mean, when they're not yawn. And it's first and ten. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. And Bricks, they just made up a whole lot of field in a hurry with that pass play. And I just made up a new name for a sandwich. Third down and six. He had nowhere to go and got nothing out of it. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, that well, maybe I actually shouldn't discuss this. <laughs> He's got the ball. Oh, he probably thought it was an earthquake. I bet he wishes he was right. In between being digested, that is. And it's first and ten. Smart move there as they call a timeout trying to get the ball back for another shot. Second down in a lot. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And with one timeout remaining, the defense has to get something going here. And it's first and ten. Yeah, man, he's on schedule now. He almost had. And that's their last timeout. The defense can't bend or break. They've got to get a stop here. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. And out comes the most underrated position in football. The mighty punter. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. Nice catch. And he turns on the afterburners. In this league have a life expectancy of three returns. Oh, man. He just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we off, Lynn? Aren't we? Oh, that was a great throw and a great kick. Oh, nice hit. <laughs> and it's first and ten. for nine on that play. And that'll bring up second and one. And then a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? The Sins come away with a sinful loss. They battled hard, but didn't have enough to get it done. They choked like a bunch of banana choking chimp chumps choking on a bag of chimp dicks. Did you just say choking on a bag of chimp dicks? Yeah. God, that was beautiful. <laughs> Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.